Hi, I'm Alex and I will present you the Jipon OLT management over splinks of the Huawei devices. Here I have the Huawei OLT device which is MA5800 and the configuration is empty so that's what I can run display current config and only IPs are there. In splinks I add networking equipment, Huawei Jipon which is the Jipon OLT and also I need to define my plans so I will group my internet voice and custom to the Huawei groups and then I'll allocate it to customers. First of all let's configure the Jipon OLT device. The Jipon OLT device is added with the IP address, SSH, username and password and important thing is to configure the uplink board and uplink interface because Splinks configures the Huawei only in the breach mode, so it means that it's not uh, running the DHCP server or anything uh, like that. Everything is moved to the uplink port to the router that has all services. Chip on internet, we define first uh, internet plan with the 40 meg, then we define the Jipon voice plan where we can also allocate the bandwidth like 2000 kilobit per second and the priority on the GPON level and then in the custom plans we can enable the third service which is the TV and that will cover cover triple play for us on the GPON configuration also I set up 10 megabit per second for my TV plan when all these tariff plans are configured we can continue and create the new Jipon group where we will group these plans together. The Jipon test will be the name of the group and then I will set up my internet voice and also custom tariff plans to that group. When that's done I'm adding the group and the group has been added. When the groups are created I need to synchronize all my information from Splinks and push this information to my OLT device. So that I can achieve if I click on the networking and then Huawei groups. Here I configure the VLANs, so or I have already configured some numbers of VLANs but I can change them. So let's change for example the EU internet VLAN to 150 voice view to 160 and TV view to 170. All my customers will connect to my GPO network using these view numbers and the management view will be 101. Also I can check my boards. So when I click on the boards it will display me only the OLT Jipon boards. It doesn't show me all the boards but only the Jipon and on that boards I can see the number of ports and I can also enable auto find of the, on the ports. So it will auto find connected new ONT devices. The configuration was pushed to Huawei OLT and that I see here on the Jipon as Jipon port number 7 what was changed is that I enabled my auto finder. When everything this is done I can synchronize my VLANs, uplink, tariffs and profiles and then when that's synchronized I can add my customers to the ONT. So the uplink is set, I set my tariff plans that creates the DBA profiles and IP traffic tables with the speed limitations so when this is done, I can click and finalize and synchronization with the syncing profile. So it will create me the line profiles, the service profiles, and everything is now ready on OLT to adding the customers in Splinks and pushing them to the configuration of OLT. So that, yes, that's just an example of what Splinks has configured. So it, can, it created the all service profile profiles and line profiles with all the bundles that we or all Jipon plans that we created it did all the gem and tcont mapping according to priority and to VLAN numbers everything is pre-configured for you and now you just find the customer let's choose this one or let's choose the new customer just let's maybe search and find the new one and allocate 
ONT device to this client and provision the client on our Huawei equipment. So that's the Alex Cherry customer. I assign him the bundle, so the tariff plan. I have two GPON tariff plans available and I will just assign this test to the customer. So it was added to the customer, you can see it here and then I can add the ONT device to him. So first of all I choose the OLT device where customer is connected and then I click out to find and it displays me available customer units. So this is the customer unit that I want to add to this client. So it adds it, adds the port number, the board, everything is configured and provisioned. Okay, there are a few errors, just the management port was not added, but all other things were added. So internet port and also voice port and everything was configured. So I can verify the configuration on SSH where I find my, just let's scroll a bit down. I will find my ONT is here allocated, associated with line profile, service profile and the customer and then service ports with all speed limitations and IP traffic tables are also configured for internet voice plan and the TV plan. So my customer is ready to use, he can plug in his device and use my internet connection, voice and TV connection. I can check the status, let's check the status or I can delete this ONT but let's first check the status and the check status I get the table with status like online shows that ONT works properly everything is fine and if I don't need this ONT anymore on the client I cancel the service so I just delete ONT from his profile and it's deleted. So that's all from the GPON side OLT management thank you for your time.